Welcome back to the shooting channel and welcome back to another one of my favourite gun reviews. And this is the new Browning Maxxis 2 Ultimate. The general gist of the gun is still the same, it's still the Maxxis. But they have put a few mod cons on it, which I'm going to go through, and I think is a really, really good addition to the Maxxis range. So first thing, I'm going to open the box. Again, it comes with five chokes, one in the barrel and four in the gun. Comes with stock extenders, two of them, different shapes. So again, if you buy them and you want to change the length of pull, you want to make it shorter, you want to make it longer, they let you do that. And then I take to the gun. Comes with a new Browning Inflex recoil pad. These Maxxises are inertia, so they're not gas operated, they're inertia operated. 14 and three quarter length pull. Pistol grip, nice. They've made the pistol grip slightly bigger than the old one to bring it down here a little bit. They do have sling swivels here, so you can put a sling on it if you want to carry it for game shooting. And I'm just gonna take it all apart. I will say, They've changed it now, compared to the old one that's got the lever there, they've put the screw on their knob there that pushes and, and turns on, which I think is a much better way. It also comes with matte back barrels. When you put them together, you have to have the action closed like that. Everything has to be lined up like that and then the gun, the barrels slide on, and you pull that down with that, and then you slide the forend overneath there, and that goes on like that. They have changed the slight de design of the forends, the forend's slightly more chunkier, which I actually feel is better. Again, like I said, they've got a slightly raised rib on it, matte black barrels. The other thing they've also got is they've got the speed load, so you can push it quickly there, which I think is the only semi-auto that has that speed loading system on it. And they also say, and I think they're the only semi-auto that can, they can use 24 gram cartridges. I'm gonna be honest, if you use really light 24 gram, possibly not, because it still needs that little bit of recoil. But let's have a look. They've, they've finished it off nicely with some nice engraving there and on the back, and it's just a really nice handling semi-auto. I do like it, the fact that they've made that a lot thicker there, so you can grab hold of it. And I'm gonna be honest, in the UK market at the moment, this, this retails at about 1,800 quid. If you go to some shooting schools, some Browning shooting schools, you can get them at about 14 to 1,500 pounds, depending where you look. But semi-autos are one thing, they've really come into fashion at the moment, not just to go out for pigeon shooting, but they've come into fashion for a bit of fun. So you can have a bit of fun with these guns. And I have to say, I never used to like these, but they seem to, they've grown on me over the years and they're really nice handling guns and they're fun. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shoot a few with this and then we're going to just have a little chat and see what it talks, shoots like. So again, remember what I said, the cartridge goes in there. They've made it really easy to use. That goes in there, and that goes in there like that. So you can get three. Don't forget, when you're on your local shooting school, make sure you ask about putting three in it. So again, let me just take them out. So again, I'll show you that again. Fairly easy to load. In there, like that, like that. Let's shoot it. it. It compared to the old one, it really feels like it's you're handling something in your gun in your hand. Pull. There you have it. A semi-auto that will cycle reasonably soft 24 grams. And again. Do you like semi-autos? Do you think they have a place on the shooting school? What do you think of the Maxxis? Please comment below. I'd love to hear your, th your thoughts on the new Maxxis. Please comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Paul?
pull. Again, it's easy. The speed loading, it flips in, whereas without that speed loader on there, it's a little bit more fiddly to fit in there. Pull. And again, you can take, these things can take magnum shells. You can put any old crap through these. For the best part of 1,500 to 1,800 pound, what more can you do? What a fantastic value gun. Comment below, comment. Do you like the new Maxxis? Have you got one? I have to say, I think compared to the old Maxxis, the odd bits they've done to it, the nice engraving, the fatter forend, matte back barrels, the speed loading, I think they've really put those nice additions and I think this is a really gonna be a massive goer in the UK. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button really helps us give you content like this. And don't forget, starting on the 1st of July, we have the Browning Game Challenge, July and August. Win yourself lots of different categories. Keep an eye on the Facebook page and the Instagram page for it. And then you also have, in August, the Austin Masters at Austin Shooting Grounds. So keep an eye on the Facebook pages. Two great competitions coming up with Austin Shooting Grounds and Oxford Gun Company and Browning Guns. Thank you for watching. Please go on the website, have a look at the new website, pick your merchandise. Thank you for watching. Please comment below and we'll see you on the next one.